everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We're gaining tremendous inspiration from this book called A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe, The Mathematical Archetypes of Nature, Art, and Science, A Voyage from 1 to 10. And today we're going to be working on the difference between an Archimedean spiral and a golden spiral. So this project was so helpful in the visualization of seeing the difference between these two spirals. For this project, I am using pages that are 9 inches by 12 inches, and I'm cutting them down in 1 inch strips. It's best if you use paper that has a little bit of weight, otherwise printer paper is okay as well. So I've got several strips, and I'm going to use my ruler in order to mark the points that I need to fold in order to make this spiral. I'm going to be using increments of half a centimeter. So for the Archimedean spiral, we want to increase each increment by one unit. It's easiest to use increments of one centimeter, but I used half a centimeter, especially when we start to compare it to the golden spiral. It very quickly increases, and I wanted to be able to see that spiral on a smaller scale. But you can see the increments that I used on the blog post that accompanies this video, and you can find that link in the description box below. So now I need to connect two strips in order for me to continue this spiral and I'm using some tape in between and eventually I use those segments to be where I need to actually fold the paper but for the first one I don't so it's a little bit confusing but I would recommend that you just cut your paper where you need to do the next increment and then tape it together at that point. So now I have a long strip of paper and I'm using this little tool in order to sort of crease the paper so that it's easy to bend. And I wanna continue with each of those increments creasing the paper so that we can get some really easy folds. You don't need to do this, this is optional. You can just fold it without using this tool. So I'm going to fold all of those increments and you can already see the spiral forming, but we're gonna run into kind of a big problem in terms Trying to keep it formed as a spiral and I'm already noticing here that it's not quite stain and even if I fold them more or fold them less they still start to kind of unwind so I'm gonna come up with a solution and I think this works pretty well I've got some multi-purpose adhesive and a piece of paper and I'm just going to spray the paper with this adhesive and then you want to air it out and it's best to do this outside actually and then I'm going to start to form my spiral on the page which is quite sticky now I wasn't very careful in doing this and already the spiral seems to be a little bit misshapen and I might have messed up with my increments because it's not looking right so I'm actually going to do this again even though this looks like a maze and it looks pretty cool but I do the whole project again but this time I do increments of one centimeter instead of half a centimeter and you can still get the whole look of the spiral and this was a little bit easier to do and even though it's not going to match the golden spiral in the increments it matches in the comparison of seeing an Archimedean spiral versus a golden spiral. So now let's work on our golden spiral. Again, I'm going to use increments of half a centimeter. Now this one you're going to have to pay attention to a little bit better because the Fibonacci sequence does increase in a unique manner. So the first two numbers are added together to make the third number in the sequence. So it's one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, and so on and so on. And because I'm using half a centimeter as my increment, I have to remember to do half of whatever the number is next in that sequence to make sure that the proportions are correct. So very quickly, we get to a point where I can only get one or two increments on, a, on one sheet of paper and so we're going to stop there i'm going to just mark all of those increments with my tool and start to fold it up and it's phenomenal seeing the difference between the two spirals so once again i'm going to spray my page with a little bit of 
adhesive in the parts that I think that the spiral is going to go. And I'm putting my spiral sort of on the lower left-hand corner of the page with the top of the spiral or the parts that are going off to the side at the top. So that I don't need a larger piece of paper because that largest section of the spiral just fits the top of the page. So now you can see our golden spiral versus our Archimedean spiral. I love this project. It is a great three-dimensional demonstration to really see the difference between these two spirals. I found that the accuracy was better when I use increments of one centimeter versus half a centimeter for the Archimedean spiral, but it worked out okay to use half a centimeter increments for the golden spiral. But if you wanted them to be the same, I would say use the same increments for both your Archimedean and golden spiral. I hope that you enjoyed this look at our three-dimensional models. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for all of the increments that I use as well as the materials that I use for this project. You can find that link to the blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what we're doing for geometry on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.